High performance engines are hardly ever built on a whim. A lot of ideas, thought, and scrutinization come into play before the first component is even decided on. Years can go by before pen hits paper. Zach Pierce is just one example of a builder who took his time in finding ingenuity and didn't rush the process. Ever since he attended college almost 10 years ago, Pierce has been conceptualizing a way to innovate on the 7.3 liter power stroke. Now at his own shop, Pierce Diesel Performance in Lancaster, South Carolina, he's finally putting those ideas to the test. He began building a 7.3 liter power stroke three years ago, and the finished product is our Diesel of the Week. This video is brought to you by Amsoil the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Evan Laux for Engine Builder, and today we're looking at a build by Pierce Diesel Performance, a 1500 horsepower, 7.3 liter power stroke. The first thing Pierce did was reach out to Diamond Pistons and sent them a cylinder head that he had been working on with Crutchfield Machine. Pierce worked with a company in Pennsylvania to get a set of aluminum billet roller rockers to save weight on a reciprocal valve train. He wanted the adjustability of being able to run a solid lifter and have Manton Custom 7 16th diameter 120 wall push rods provide the most valve train stability possible. The heads feature a one off set of injectors done by Full Force Diesel that were the biggest and fastest injectors for a 7.3 liter that Pierce says they could find at the time. The engine also boasts a front mounted turbo setup from Garrett with an 80 millimeter inducer. With the 7.3 liter and its Huey injection system being so oil hungry, Pierce knew he'd have to make a compromise with his oiling system. A Peterson wet sump oil setup was used and the team built a mount so that they could attach the pump externally and run a blend between 30 and 40 weight oil to maintain engine protection and flowability with a lower viscosity. The block is fed through a couple custom areas rather than the factory oil galley channel and the oil system is run at 100 psi. The engine also has three capable stages of nitrous in a custom water injection setup with four nozzles operating at 900 psi. As of now, the engine hasn't been pushed too hard on the track, but it has on the dyno. The engine puts out around 1500 horsepower and 3100 foot-pounds of torque, more than enough for it to be a competitive drag race build. The engine was put in the Pierce Diesel Performance Shop Truck, a 2002 F250 short bed crew cab that they raced in the Outlaw Diesel Super Series. Pierce has been constantly improving his passes and placed second in the 6-7 index class at the Rocky Top Diesel Shootout last summer. This year, Pierce is looking at turning up the nitrous on his truck and entering the 5-9 index class. Well, that does it for this episode of Diesel of the Week. Thanks to our series sponsor, Amsoil. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And remember, if you have a diesel engine you'd like to see featured, please email editor Greg Jones at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for watching.